Hello, my name is Keith and I'm the PHP developer for Peak Studios. I'm actually here to help show you how to make a ranking system inside Flash using the PHP MySQL plugin. Go ahead and open up the ranking.fla file. This file can be downloaded at peakstudios.com. Once you have it open, let's go ahead and take a look inside the actions panel. So you're going to click on the actions layer and open up your actions panel. The code that's previously written into the script actually does all the ranking system itself. I'll briefly go through them, but the most important part that I'm focusing on is actually using the PHP MySQL plugin. We have an import statement and a var cur url stream. It does an external interface call to a function which returns the current URL that we're sitting at. So if you're at pstudios.com, it returns http semicolon slash slash peakstudios.com we have a new movie class here we have an all-stars class which creates a new all-stars this can be found inside your libraries panel you have your all-stars a blank star a blue star green star and yellow stars those are already created previously for you Let's go ahead and get started by using the MySQL extension. I'm going to open up the extension by going to Windows, Other Panels, and selecting PHP MySQL. Select Create PHP, and it give you a prompt saying that PHP files were created. Go ahead and click OK. We're going to be using Action Script 3. And now two lines of code was actually copied onto your clipboard. Let's go to your actions. We're going to go to the top and actually paste our code onto this actions. You have an import statement that was created and a variable called dbloc. Go back to the extension, click next, and for this prefix, we're going to use a prefix called the rank. We're going to be using select, go back to the actions panel, and paste our code. Just right before the select statement, let's go ahead and call the function so it actually initiates and runs the query. And we have three variables, the rank table, and row 0 and row 1. Our table name is called the ranking system. And our two fields, we have page, and we have vote. What we're looking for is actually where the page is equal to our current URL. And then scroll down to our return function. This is actually the result that's returned from using the MySQL query. We won't be needing the second for loop, so go and delete this for loop. And just right before the return function, we need to create two variables. We're going to create var sum as an array. And we'll also be creating a new variable called average, which is a number set to 0. And inside the for loop, we're going to be adding each vote to the sum array. So we're going to push the values into the sum array. And right below the for loop, we're going to add an if statement if the sum length 
is equal to 0, meaning nothing was returned back with no votes. We're going to set the average to 0. But if something did re get returned, we'll set the average equal to the AVG of sum. The AVG function is actually found at the bottom. And what this does is it loops through each value inside the array, divides it by the total length of the array, and returns the average. So it'll be the average of all the votes that were put in.